What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, guys, we're almost there. Uh, the last time I looked at my uh, YouTube studios, I am literally two subscribers away from somebody getting a chance to win a six gill Hamar reel. And then I'm only 50 subscribers away from somebody winning a Monster Bass box. So I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and dropping comments. Uh, if you've been sharing the videos, I greatly appreciate that. But if you could, uh, guys, keep subscribing to the channel. Uh, I think the last time I looked at it, maybe 2% of the viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. So guys, if you like the videos and you like what I'm putting out, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure when you do that, you click on the little bell and click all. So every time I do a video, you guys will get notified of those videos. Um, I've had one video where I've been on the water fishing. Most of my videos have been here in the shop or out in the boat uh, talking about tackle and stuff or your live wells, things like that with the boat. And I've done a few videos talking about some of my range stuff and here shortly I will be going out to the range getting you some videos out there. So some of the stuff that I've been talking about here in the shop, we're going to go out on the range and put that stuff to the test. So again, guys, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. Make sure you uh, hit the bell so you get notified every time I do a video. Please smash that thumbs up if you like the videos, share the videos, and leave comments. And now we're going to get into some, some things that I got. Uh... I'm probably I'm, I'm gonna say I'm probably late on this one I don't know how long this has been out because it's been a minute since I've been on a tackle warehouse and that's where I got this stuff from but it's been a minute since I was on there so I was scrolling through and I saw these and was like holy crap I gotta get it so uh, what we're gonna talk about has a little bit to do with some rods and then a couple little deals with your lures so I think the first one I'm gonna get into is we're gonna talk about this stuff here uh, liquid mayhem uh, so liquid mayhem I got this a few years back uh, they sent me a small tube of this stuff in one of the monster bass boxes and liquid mayhem is a scent company um, a lot of baits I know um, uh, strike king has their uh, coffee scent on a lot of their baits and um, uh, Berkeley has some scent infused into their baits and what that does for you you throw that lure in there and it's giving off some kind of a scent one is going to help that bass find that lure a lot quicker because they're going to be keyed in on that scent and they're trying to figure out what is the source of that scent but then the second thing that it does is when that fish bites that lure they're tasting it so they, they tend to hold on just a little bit longer because they're getting that taste. That might buy you uh, a couple more seconds to feel that bite. You know, myself and guys that aren't as experienced, sometimes it takes us a while before we feel that bite because sometimes the fish will bite and you don't even really feel that, that thump. And so you're still, you know, pulling up on the rod, trying to feel some pressure. You haven't felt that thump yet. You go to drop the rod, you start reeling in. Next thing you know, you notice your line shooting off. Well, you didn't really feel that bite, but my, I, I'm guilty of it myself. In fact, the video from uh, the past tournament I just did, I never felt that fish bite. Um, I threw out there and I was just starting to wind it in. I thought I was actually grabbing some grass right there and so i just kind of went to pull on it to get it out of that grass and then next thing i know i feel the line starts moving off to the other side and that's when i started really turning that reel so in fact the one that i've been using that's out there in the boat now it's a small tube is this one exactly it's the shad scent uh i use shad uh scent anytime i'm throwing my strike king race swimmer uh swim baits i will lather some of this stuff on there in fact when I caught that fish in that last video fish in that tournament um, I had just applied some of this liquid mayhem to that rage swimmer so I think that it does help it uh it does give off an, a, a scent um, it gives off a good scent for the fish to you know 
pick up on, okay, there's something in the area, it's putting off a scent, and then when they bite it, they tend to want to hold on a little bit longer because it, it gives that taste of an actual bait fish. And so they tend to hold on a little bit longer, which is going to give you a little bit more time to detect that bite and then set the hook on. So I went a little crazy on, uh, on, uh, what am I trying to say? Tackle warehouse. And that is like my, that is the worst thing for me when I go to scroll in tackle warehouse and stuff like that. I will find stuff to buy. And before you know it, I'm spending a couple hundred dollars. So I've got the shad scent that I use on a lot of my um, swim baits and stuff, shad profile baits. I have a crawfish scent with anise in it. Um, I'll probably use this on uh, some of my Strike King Rage Crawls or any other crawl style baits. I will also use this on the soft plastics that I thread up on a jig. Now, if I'm throwing a swim jig or chatterbait or something like that that's moving, I'll probably put some kind of a shad scent since I'm trying to imitate a shad or something like that. If I'm throwing a jig or I'm flipping a crawl, I will probably put the crawl on there. Uh, I also have just a regular crawfish scent. This one is without the anise in it. And you have to be careful the way you say that. Anise, uh, one of the videos I was watching, a uh, group of guys, if y'all don't know them, you must be sleeping under a rock. But uh, it was Dustin Connell, it was Mark, Mark Daniels Jr., and Adrian Avena. I don't think uh, Jacob Wheeler had made it there yet to the house that they were staying in, but they were doing one of their video segments of Rate the Bait. And Dustin Connell, he thought it was called anus oil and man those guys they cracked up it made me laugh had me crying because i was laughing so hard because adrian avena had made the comment that three guys sitting on a bed and dustin carnell is talking about anus oil so be careful when you're trying to say that i think it's pronounced anise i have to look into that uh if anybody else out there know how it's pronounced, please drop that in the comment. Let me know so I don't say the wrong thing. But it's Anise. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm going to tag those guys in this video because I love watching their videos. Anytime you watch Mark Daniels Jr.'s uh, Rate the Bait. Again, it's Mark Daniels Jr., Dustin Connell, Adrian Avena, Jacob Wheeler. They all fish the uh, Bass Pro Tour and they travel together. But every time I watch those uh, rate the baits or any of his other videos, I always learn something from them. They're the guys that are out there doing this, making a paycheck. So they put this stuff to the test. So if you guys aren't watching them, check them out again. Jacob Wheeler, uh, Adrian Avena. Mark Daniels Jr. and Dustin Connell, shout out to those guys. Really great guys to uh, to watch on YouTube, and I feel like I learn a lot from them. So, back to this. Uh, this one is called Nightcrawler. So, I mean, that pretty much says it for itself, Nightcrawlers or Worms. So, probably throw this on any of your worms that you're fishing, whether it's a swimming worm or you're uh, working that thing, Texas rig, hopping it off the bottom, throw that one right there. Um, I have a minnow scent with garlic. Uh, this one, again, any of your uh, swim baits. And I do believe, I, I think you can use this on hard baits. But so far, the only one I've had was that uh, was this shad scent. And I've always used it on my swim baits, my soft plastic swim baits. But again, anything that's imitating a minnow, you want to put off that minnow scent. And then I have the crawfish with garlic so let's see which one of these was it so i have a minnow with garlic and then i have a crawfish with garlic so wow i just one two so three different crawfish scents and you know, I hear people talk about the different colors of crawfish. Crawfish actually do go through a color change depending on the season that it's in. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure they give off a different scent each 
phase of their life and different periods depending on the water temperature. So that'll be something I have to play around with to see what scent works best during what period. But so that's one thing right there. Uh, just something to help you get that extra bite. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is more of a, uh, I don't really know what to call it. It's this guy right here. It's called the butt dial. And no, we're not talking about where you sit on your phone and you butt dial somebody. So what this thing is, and the reason I said I'm late to this, because I'm pretty sure this has been out for a while. I know some of the uh, Bass Pro Shop rods have a built-in dial. But grab a rod from over here in the corner. So you have your rod here. And if you're like me, this is my six gill Cypress uh, medium power rod. Uh, where is it? Somewhere on here. A lot of these rods will tell you uh, your lure weight and line size weight and stuff to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck out of your rods. But if you're like me, you'll spool up and then you'll forget what you got on there. Well, with these things, they're you know, it hardly weighs anything, but they slip onto the butt of your rods. And it says that it's supposed to, yep, there it goes. Oh, nice tight fit. It fits on cork as well as your EVA or your uh, wind grips. But now I've got a couple of little dials on there. Let's see if I can find one for you. Okay, you see the red arrows right there? The red arrows. If you can see those but those red arrows this one is set on copolymer so depending on what line you put in here I usually use fluoro so ooh, kind of hard but you turn the dial and wherever that arrow is pointing you set it on fluoro like I said what is this one a seven foot medium power so I think I was using this to fish uh, Probably some crankbaits. No, I can't remember. But right now it's set at 15. So, so you've got. So the arrows don't turn. So the words uh, floral, braid, mono, and copolymer. And then you have your numbers. But you just turn the number. Now I've got it set fluorocarbon 12 pounds. So now, whether you're fishing, and let's say you break off, and you're wondering like, hey, how did that break off? You can look down and go, oh, I got a 12 pound test line. That must've been a big one. So now you'll know, okay, next time I spool up, I need to go a little bit heavier than this 12 pound. Or if you're like me, and you forget when you spool up what fishing line you had on there, you can look at it, oh, fluoro, 12 pound. This, I might've been throwing some swim baits on this. So. It's a good way to remind you of what um, what line size as well as what type of line. So I just thought it was really cool. Um, I think I have always talked about that. Uh, like I said, I know some of the ride companies already have those incorporated in their rods, but I thought it was cool that somebody came out with something to where you can add those to all of your existing rods. So now you don't have to go out and buy new rods just to have this on there uh you can go hit up tackle warehouse guys i'm not sponsored by tackle warehouse but i spend a ton of money there so i think it's pretty cool but you can go to tackle warehouse look for these like i said they're called butt dials find them down in your uh uh i think it's you go to fishing rods and then where it says rod care and all of that stuff that's where you'll find these I ordered a bunch of them. I got like 13 because I think that's how many rods I've got. These go on both casting and spinning. So, I mean, it's an awesome deal. Um, I wish I had seen this a lot sooner. But So, I just wanted to make a video and show you guys the, um, the scents that I got and then the butt dial. So, that way you uh, always remember what size line you got as well as what kind of line that you've got so i just thought that'd be pretty cool but again guys 
We're two subs away from somebody winning a six gear reel. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, let me know your name. That way I can get you added to the uh, to the little wheel to get you added for the giveaway. And then we're 50, uh, 50 subscribers away from somebody winning a monster bass. So even after we do the real giveaway, please keep on subbing and uh, subbing to the channel because somebody's going to win a monster bass box and when we do that one i'll need to know where you live so that way i make sure i pick the right region but uh that's all i got guys uh thanks for watching thanks for tuning in uh again drop me comments guys and let me know what you guys think till the next time guys see you in the great outdoors